Okay, look what turned up in the post for me today, and thrilled about it I am, I can tell you. Gearbest have sent me another uh, quad to review, but this is bigger than any of the other quads I've done, and uh, it's uh, complete with brushless motors. Uh, it's the XKX252 shuttle. It comes with a seven channel uh, transmitter. It does 3D and 6G as well, and there's a switch for that. Um, the box is really nice. I mean, that is really well uh, packaged and everything. Uh, Here's the extra features, but I'll be running through those uh, when we actually uh, actually get to fly it and get to unbox it properly. This is just literally running around what the box looks like, really. Um, uh, it's uh, FPV and it's HD FPV as well, so we'll I'll be keen to see that. It's 5.8 as well rather than Wi-Fi, so this really is a, a quite a big step up. Uh, I do like the style of it. It looks like a, a sort of 60s sci-fi movie. Um, one of the uh, uh, vehicles from there, one of the spacecraft, I would say. And the dimensions on the other side as well. So uh, we'll, I've run through and double check that they are all correct. I'm sure they are. The, uh, and then there's some warnings just on the bottom there. Yes, there we go. So just the normal things that are sticking out the way on the bottom. And it's got a good, good carry handle. The box is really well packed. I mean, it's really nicely done. Let's just make sure nothing's damaged inside. So let's just pop in here. See how we get in, and there we go. That's not the right way. So there we go. What I'll do is I'll just, because it's such a large one to get on the bench here, I'll just get it unpacked, uh, and then uh, then I'll run through everything in detail. Uh, basically, instruction manual. Uh, that looks good quality to start off with. It's packed in polystyrene, um, so obviously. Yes, very well packed, and um, nothing's moved. So, uh, and I'll, I'll get all this emptied out, as I say. And there's the actual quad in there. So I've got the black one, which looks rather nice. I mean, both nice, and it's more the cosmetics, really. I do prefer the look of black quads. And then lift off the next polystyrene layer, and then down through here. Uh, transmitter looks quite serious as well, so that's rather good. Uh, we've got our screen there, and I imagine that's the charger uh, adapter for the mains. So let me get all this unpacked, put on a bench, and let's see what we get. You get the um, instruction manuals, uh, the two colour uh, ones, which is quite unusual, and the quality is really good on the paper. There's also just this little uh, extra flyer they've put in, obviously, because uh, there's um, some bits they've updated, I guess. Um, a little bit difficult to read because it's in Chinese and English, uh, but uh, there's some additional information there. And then uh, there's basically two uh, manuals. Uh, you've got uh, a Chinese one, which is uh, obviously fully Chinese, um, which is rather good if you speak Chinese, I'm sure I can read Chinese. Very clear, very legible, and the most important one for me, obviously, is the uh, English one. And it almost shouts at you, the text is so large, but it's nice and clear, and um, it certainly runs through everything on, on the quad to get you going. I think this quad's so uh, involved and going to be so amazing where it does 3D and everything, uh, I think <laughs> you could have a book on it, I think, but uh, I'm really going to enjoy going through this one. It explains the rates and everything, and obviously what your uh, transmitter does, and we'll go through that as we get further in. And then I can't wait to get this thing up in the sky. So, and like I say, full colour as well. So uh, really nice. Okay, and onto our screen. Um, quite a very simple, basic screen. Uh, it's just got a single uh, bind button there. There's no, you can't change anything on it as far as I can see. You literally just press that if you want it to bind. I uh, usually find that they find the frequency pretty quick anyway. Um, it's a little bit stiff because I think it's new. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got a shield there. It's quite reflective, as you can probably see. So, um, I mean, it is a budget screen, I think, but I think it'll do the job. Um, we will certainly give it a go. You also get a rubber duck or stick antenna here, uh, 5.8, and the it's an SMA uh, male there, so it's an SMA female there, and just a simple screen. And I'm sure anyone that's into uh, flying FPV will be putting uh, a clover leaf or something else on there, but uh, to start with, I'll give it a go with what they supply, uh, and that's us all ready to go. Uh, on off switch on the side, obviously, and there's a little charger somewhere. There we go, there's a little charger there, and you get uh, it's a USB charger you get that goes in there quite tiny. So I'll get that on charge straight away. 
You get a spare set of four, again, I'm pretty sure these are proprietary props as well. I've not seen anything like this uh, myself. Um, hopefully there'll be other people that will uh, bring, bring out something that will match them. Uh, they're 3D props, obviously, so they work both ways, so you can do full 3D aerobatics. There we go. You also get a complete and comprehensive toolkit, a Allen key and a Phillips screwdriver. And you also get a micro SD uh, to USB adapter uh, so that you can download the footage that you shoot on it. Okay, on to something that, uh, to be honest, I'm not overly happy about. Um, I don't like proprietary batteries and props and things like that, uh, or any, any bits. Uh, I, I like to find me bargains and do some swapping around, certainly with batteries and things. Uh, this is actually a sort of dedicated case, as you can see. Uh, we'll just pop it open in a second, because it looks quite simple to get into, just to check the battery is what they say, which I'm sure it is. Um, and that plugs into this, uh, which is an adapter to give it a balanced cell charge. And as you can see, it just pops in around that way. And it's a very shiny plastic. Um, and then that goes into here. Seems quite a convoluted way of doing it. Um, and then that's not, not the best fit in the world, but it's it, it's gonna hold up, it's gonna sit on a bench like that. Um, but, uh, and then you've got your uh, mains adapter there, which plugs into here, and then plug that in, and off you go. Um, but like I say, not particularly happy that it's a proprietary battery. Would much prefer uh, a generic one that we can play around with, but I'll get inside, let's have a look. Okay, so I've just quickly uh, taken the battery holder apart. Basically, two screws in the top and the bottom, and uh, it basically just pops apart like that. It's, as it states, uh, two cells, 7.4 volt, uh, 950 milliamp hour, and the uh, connections are soldered onto these uh, connections here, and that obviously connects when you slide the whole unit into the into the quad. Um, yeah, so really you've got to use a proprietary battery, uh, so it's basically a holder, uh, but where it's soldered and everything, it's not gonna be easy to swap over. Okay, just so I do a quick test. So I've got the uh, adapter that changes the battery so that you can put it on the charger. And uh, these little things, uh, the little warners and little uh, battery testers, I've done a separate video on those. There's a link down in the description if you haven't got one already. And then just, you simply plug it in you get a vicious beep and then you can see how it's charged well that's pretty good I mean that's extremely good for a balanced charge I would say um, so but I always keep an eye on them if you're using a, a not a high quality charger always make sure your batteries are charged correctly okay so on to the transmitter and first of all sort of wow uh, when I started reading up stuff about this um, it's really going to take me up to a, a totally different level and um, with what I'm doing with my quads, because this does full 3D. Uh, I've never flown 3D, so this will be quite interesting, and the learning curve is gonna be quite something, I think. Anyway, uh, back to the transmitter itself. Uh, it's quite robust, quite reasonably heavy. I will weigh it and then put the weights down the bottom, but I never find the weights a problem. You can always put a lanyard on it anyway, um, so that takes a bit of weight off if you're worried, but I never, you're not flying for that long, I don't think. It's fine. Uh, on the back, you need six AA batteries, so it draws a little bit of power there, quite a bit. Uh, quite handy, it's got a, a simulator plug in there. Uh, I'm hoping that's what that is. I'll give it a test. Uh, I'm quite fancy in flying a simulator the first time, never bothered with one before, but I'm thinking definitely with 3D is the way I want to go. Uh, to turn it on, simply slide the middle one up. Uh, we're getting an alert because the throttle isn't in zero position, so uh, which is good, because uh, then you don't flick your quad on and it starts doing things, uh, which is rather good. Uh, it's fully programmable. There's loads, you can attach loads of RC vehicles to it as well, so that's good. I mean, it's uh, it's a very good uh, transmitter as far as I can, uh, as far as I understand anyway. And I'll, I'll hopefully go through the menus when we get further into uh, more advanced stuff. But at the moment, I just really want to get up in the air with the basics. Um, all, if all the switches are back from what I understand, everything's in like normal mode that I would be used to flying in. Uh, so basically 6G. So the gyro's on, um, the, the 3D is off. Uh, you've got the dual rates uh, is in low and you've got the throttle hold um, off as well. So uh, everything is, is good. Let me run through those switches fully. So you can flick the rates up and down. I don't know if you can see uh, with here, there's a little 
triangle that gets bigger so you've, you've got dual rates there that again you can set for what you want for your dual rates the throttle hold um, basically kills the throttle so now if I move it up though it's giving numbers here nothing's happening in the throttle range there so that actually kills it stone dead if it's flying like most of us normally fly not 3d as soon as you kill the put the throttle to the bottom it kills it anyway um, but in 3d mode if we flick it onto 3d and if we take the gyro off um, now if you notice we're racking up at 95 but according to our normal flying the throttle would be off uh, well if we put it right into the middle it will go down to about 30 these rates again you can change but basically uh, that you would need to kill the throttle if not it will just keep running so you can see the throttle LEDs there I hope uh, drop right off when I flick that off because when you want to fly 3D you take off normally you flip the quad over and then obviously the quads uh, uh, propellers then rotate the other way um, so that then basically lifting the quad is the opposite to normal so um, I think that's going to be really weird unless I'm totally misunderstanding how it works um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it in one way but I really don't want to trash it up so um, and basically like I say if you want to get back to ordinary flying um, and I can see me this happening with me uh, panic mode is just click everything back so that you're then uh, back in the correct orientation sort of thing quite what would happen to the quad when it's upside down I don't know so um, we will have to wait and see uh, you've got some uh, obviously the, into the menus here and then you can adjust the menus here and then press the go you've got your trim buttons as normal um, everything's normal there and you've got your rocket launcher here your big red button that you fire and the photon torpedoes fly out the front or it might be actually activating the video camera ah actually I think that might be what it is Attaching the screen to the transmitter can be any easier. It's already uh, built on uh, and bolted on basically um, and all you have to do is just slide it in and it just pops in. It's quite tight. There we go. Click but it's definitely not going to go anywhere and then you can just alter the angle if you need to. Okay and now on to what I think is a really slick looking um, uh, quad. I really like the look of this. Um, it's uh, plastic, it's a, quite a rigid sort of plastic, you can see it deflecting there a bit, but it's um, it's not like some of the cheaper ones, uh, it, it does feel quite quite rigid. Whether it will take a knock and shatter, I don't know, because it's not carbon fibre, so uh, which is unusual, I would have thought, for this sort of quad. I think it's a bit of a hybrid quad, because I think it's supposed to get you a bit into FPV racing, um, it's to get you into 3D stunts, uh, and I think it's just to have damn good fun with, actually, which is going to be prone with I mean, a few bashes, I expect. Um, now, my other uh, racers, which I've played around with, are carbon fibre uh, based, so they're a lot stronger so it'd be interesting perhaps it can sort of deal with it but uh, the looks of it are way better than any of my uh, carbon fiber races I must admit and really does have a, either a stingray or a Thunderbirds uh, look to it which takes me back to my childhood which might give away my age is not that young um, uh, presume LEDs on the bottom and everything there's a little uh, uh, you obviously get the camera at the front and two big LEDs and then small LEDs uh, I haven't powered this up or anything at all yet and then there's a little uh, four gigabyte card in there and it's uh, got an HD camera on the front that's uh, 720p so the card probably doesn't have to be that fast uh, in recording and the quality is not really good because it's going to move around and shoot around a lot more but it's more for the FPV I think and just having a bit of a record so uh, let's try and put the, the battery in again a little bit ticked off with the battery where it's a proprietary one but it does look well and I realise it would power up. Um, okay, um, but it does look slick when it's in there to be perfectly honest. Uh, it does look smart um, and I'll probably need to get another one another couple. Wow, those LEDs are really nice and bright and uh, we've got uh, blue on the front and then we've got green and red on the back and actually there's something in the instructions that gave you uh, about the greens and the red uh, which I'll go through when we're flying it a bit better but uh, no that is a seriously nice looking bit of cord as far as I'm concerned anyway um, uh, brushless motors as we said and everything's very free moving so that's uh, that's good uh, do like it yeah as you probably got the impression let's get out and have a flight shall we
Okay, so just had a couple of flights with it, um, just to finish off the review, and then what I've decided to do, um, I, I do like it, I like the style and everything else, my next stage is to learn how to fly acro properly, and, and then hopefully move on to 3D. I'm going to give it a go with the simulator, and um, I will put up videos as I go through uh, learning, uh, hopefully that will help other people, because uh, I think it's the next stage on in the hobby. I've got a couple of races that I never really use, and I really ought to move on with those, and this is going to make me do it so uh, it's made me go back down that route so and I think it'll improve my flying generally anyway and certainly give me a lot more fun with the FPV uh, first negative thing it's a big negative thing as far as I'm concerned uh, is the battery I don't like proprietary batteries I like to have a few batteries with me when I go out and uh, you've you always get a brilliant flying opportunity and your battery flat so uh, really not that keen on that but that's the way it is so that's fine um but you'd need to buy i would need to have yeah three or four of them at least i would think and uh, the uh the way the battery goes in as well i don't like that it's um pops in slides in okay you think it's going to be all right but it's very easy just to come out and a bit of a shunt on the front that's going to come flying out or if you hit something and spin around i'm sure that's going to pop out once that comes to that point you've got no power you're going to drop out the sky so and you're not going to be able to recover it either if that comes apart like that you could just lose your battery um so you might find your quad and might lose your battery so uh, that wouldn't be very good easily sorted elastic band round and that will just hold it in then it won't go anywhere uh, that's what i'm going to do when i fly it next time uh, but uh, it shouldn't really need to do that i don't think so uh, but easy, easily sorted that was the only thing that really wouldn't be a bother and i think the battery issue is about the only thing i really have problems with uh, i don't like the charging method it will, it's all a bit sort of clipped together shot together um and yeah I, I don't find it it charged okay um i ch tested both the cells they were both at uh, one was at 4.2 and the other one was at 4.19 so i mean that was very good and i tried it two or three times so and it's held that every time um so my charger does seem to work okay that's good so anyway that's the negative thing is the battery as far as i'm concerned i really like the look of the quad uh, it's absolutely super um uh, and uh, it's really good uh, the um how durable it is i don't know because it's not carbon fiber like my other races um so we will see i mean if it if it shatters then i'll there'll be a video on it i'm sure at the moment it's had a couple of bounces and it seems okay so that's rather good uh onto the transmitter love it it's really nice uh, and for the money i think it's amazing um and uh the uh screen is uh, is good um it's 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 a budget screen uh you'll soon want to move on once you start really flying fpv but you'll probably be using goggles then anyway but yeah, i did fly fpv with it concentrate on the screen and it works fine in my small area of the garden it was no problem at all and i could really see and, and was around so yeah really enjoyed it to get into the hobby this side of the hobby i think this is a brilliant piece of kit for the money and um you know i can't really see any negatives with it so a uh, big thumbs up apart from that bit <laughs> um, there we go that's my review so far i'll be posting more videos up of how i learn how to fly acro and hopefully move into 3d and there'll be more videos up on this so long as i don't trash it totally